Hey guys, welcome to Yellow Medusa channel where I explore cinema worlds that never existed and having a lot of fun doing that. Because yeah, it's so bit. much fun, Chan! Get it! Here I'm gonna show you how I create my videos using AI technologies and also answer some of the questions that you guys ask in the comments. Like, are my videos fully made with AI? Which prompts do I use in Mid Journey? How to animate images with AI and to synthesize a custom voice and so on. I'm currently working on a new video about Wes Anderson directing Terminator 2 and would like to show you a short piece from it and explain how I made it. What if Wes Anderson directed Terminator 2? The Terminator arrives in a time-traveling phone booth to the past. His mission is to find and protect John Connor, a talented artist who will play a crucial role in the future battle between humans and evil robots that seek to destroy art. Starring in the film are Bill Murray as the Terminator T-800. I'll be back, but please, do try to avoid causing any unnecessary collateral damage while I'm gone. Owen Wilson as the T-1000, Timothy Chalamet as John Connor, and Tilda Swinton as Sarah Connor. Normally I begin with the script for the narration, I go to ChatGPT and write Hey ChatGPT, can you tell what the plot of Terminator 2 would look like if it had been made by Wes Anderson? I would say that in most cases the chat's response is far from perfect, but it always gives me inspiration to start from. Like here, there are some cool ideas that I'm definitely gonna use. The Terminator, played by Bill Murray, would arrive in a time-traveling phone booth that resembles a giant vintage camera. I'm sure that Wes Anderson would cast Bill Murray for Terminator and it would be cool to see him in that role. I also like this part here. The main villain of the movie, the T-1000, would be played by Owen Wilson. He would be dressed in a sleek, metallic suit that allows him to morph his body into various shapes and sizes. He would also have a distinctive Texas drawl and a love of cowboy boots. Wow. And I can follow that logic and assume that Timothy Chalamet would play John Connor and Tilda Swinton would play his mother Sarah Connor. Okay, I won't get through all of the text provided by ChatGPT here, you can pause the video and read it fully if you want, but I think that some of the ideas from ChatGPT are pretty good and they give me inspiration for script writing. ChatGPT is definitely a great tool to use and to push your ideas and it's also a huge time saver. So I will write here... Thanks! I don't know why am I so polite with ChatGPT, but you never know what will happen in the future. Another cool thing that I wanted to share with you guys is asking ChatGPT to write memorable one-liners. And most of the time it brings up really cool results. I think that ChatGPT can be pretty good at mixing movie quotes. I don't think I can do that, John. I'm not programmed for frivolity. I'll be back. But please do try to avoid causing any unnecessary collateral damage while I'm gone. You can regenerate responses as many times as you need. Also feel free to direct ChatGPT if you want it to write in a different style, explore different scenes or write a backstory for your characters if you need that. This material generated by ChatGPT inspired me to write the script for my video and after my script was ready I went to meet Journey where the longest part of the process took place. Generating images can take a while. As you can see here, I've already created some images trying out different prompts to generate Bill Murray in the role of Terminator T-800. At first I used the classic prompt that many YouTube creators use. Screen wrap from a Wes Anderson film, comma, Terminator played by Bill Murray. And then I added the aspect ratio that I use in all my videos. And as you can see, these images don't really look like they are from a Wes Anderson film. Maybe some of them do, but we can do better than that. So that's when I start experimenting with the prompts. I can go with something like symmetrical screen wrap from a Wes Anderson film. And that simple word symmetrical changed a lot as you can see. The new images start to remind more of a Wes Anderson style now. I will generate variations of these particular images and see what they bring me and I'll also try some other prompts. For example, symmetrical screen wrap from a Wes Anderson film, comma, Bill Murray with half robot face as a T-800 Terminator. Or I can also try with half metallic face. I can also use some references in order to guide my journey better. Like here I uploaded two pictures, one of Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator and a picture of Bill Murray. Then I create a new prompt and add URLs to both of the images and write down the same prompt again. Symmetrical screen wrap from a Wes Anderson film, comma, Bill Murray with half metallic face as a T-800 Terminator. 
Then again I will generate variations of the images that I like and upscale those that look best to me. I really like these images with weird metallic things on Murray's head. The first one here looks most like Bill Murray, so I will upscale it. This look cool too, I love these crazy sunglasses. Wes Anderson's Terminator would definitely care about style. Yeah, the first one looks best to me. What else we have here? Okay, the first one looks weird and funny. I can see this character being in a Wes Anderson sci-fi comedy, so I will upscale the first image here too. Now the best way to save the images is to open them in browser first by clicking here and only then saving them to your computer. This way you will have the best quality result. Then I will do the same thing to the rest of the characters. T-1000 played by Owen Wilson, John Connor played by Timothy Chalamet and Sarah Connor played by Tilda Swinton. And I will leave the prompts that work best to me in the description of this video. When the images are ready, I will need voiceovers for the narration and for characters that will be talking in my video. Some of you may be wondering where to synthesize a voice. You can do that in 11 laps, for example. In order to clone a voice, you need to find at least one minute of a person talking without any background music or other noises. But it's better to use more like about two minutes in order to get a better quality. After you get your sample, go to 11 laps voice lap tab and click the add voice button and then instant voice cloning. Here you can upload your sample, name it and confirm that you have all necessary rights or consents to upload and clone a voice sample and that you will not use the platform generated content for any illegal or harmful purpose. After you edit your voice sample, you can go to the speech synthesis tab and try it out. I want to show my example with a one-liner that ChatGPT helped me to write. I will put it here and click generate. And here it is. I'll be back, but please do try to avoid causing any unnecessary collateral damage while I'm gone. You can adjust the voice in the setting and also you can regenerate it to have a different intonation. Sometimes it can be helpful if you are not happy with the first result. After I have all the images and voice samples, I'll need to animate them. For that I'm using DID or HeyJam. I like both of these services and I use them both in my videos to get better quality. I will show an example of animating an image in DID. On the website you need to go to create a video section. Then you press on this add button and you upload your image from your computer. After that you click on audio button and upload an audio sample that you have generated previously. And after you uploaded both image and audio, you just click generate video and DID will do the rest for you. I'll be back, but please do try to avoid causing any unnecessary collateral damage while I'm gone. Also, if you don't want your animated characters to talk, click on this clock icon over here. Each clock icon represents half a second of generated silent video. I normally use around 20 clock icons to have a 10 second animated video as a result. I'll do the same thing for every character that will be present in my video and then it will be the time for me to bring everything together and edit the video in Premiere Pro. I'm still working on the full video of Terminator 2 by Wes Anderson and will hopefully upload it in a couple of days. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts. Thank you for watching, cheers and take care!